what's up youtube what's up youtube what's up youtube i am back with another youtube video right and i know i know it's been a long time since you guys seen me i know i know i'm sorry i'm sorry i really am sorry but it's like i've been handling a lot of real life situations outside of youtube so we're gonna keep it at that y'all gonna know what i'm talking about real soon but uh today we're talking about one specific issue that i'm having not only with YouTube, but just as I'm noticing in, in the black culture in YouTube and in the Hispanic side of YouTube, you feel what I'm saying? And today's topic is the 20 V ones, bruh. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The 20 V ones on the other hand, uh, I feel like the 20 V ones are starting to get to a point where they're starting to get overplayed and they're starting to get really played out. And it really like the reason why I say that is because one, not only are they, you know, doing the same format getting the same 20 girls doing the same things asking the same questions um it's making us look bad like 20 v1s are making us look bad as the black community as a hispanic community as just people of color it's just making us look bad like i don't know if you guys see these 20 v1s i'm not gonna lie i used to watch these just like heavily like i used to watch 20 v1s a lot but mm, i don't know i can't get really i don't know and a lot of people have been telling me Yo, Jonah, you should make it a, a YouTube video just like that. You should make a video just like that, doing a 20v1. And it's like, I thought about it. Don't get me wrong. It does do numbers. And a lot of people use it to get numbers. You feel what I'm saying? But the stuff that I stand for and the stuff that I, you know, go about, I feel like it will be me being a hypocrite in a way, doing a 20v1 now, especially choosing the route that I took in. Um, but I'm not going to lie. I feel like 20v1s are really doing more damage than good like i'm gonna put in certain clips in the video you're gonna see what i'm talking about okay okay all right, i already know what's up no, 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 i'm not no, no, playing no. with you okay all right, all right, i'm all right. on that business no, 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 no. and look i got real quick tea. i got real two two and one this is me i was born a female so, yeah. like these 20 v ones are getting outrageous bro like um it's making me look at females with a different type of respect is making me look at the dudes also participating in these 20 v ones with a different type of respect because it's like i feel like these dudes and these girls are only doing that not only to, for the advantage to you know gain from it and you know get the attention and money but it's just giving us a very bad look you feel what i'm saying because 20 v ones should not be going on and it's like they're, they're people that's supposed to be, you know, married and grown and, you know, no 20v1 for them. Like, if you guys hear some little kids in the background, by the way, don't please, please don't mind that. Don't, yeah, don't make that no mind at all. Like, it's because, I'm not going to lie, I'm living in the trenches, living in the hood, so little kids is outside. And it's summertime, too. These little niggas don't got no school. But 20v1s need to be stopped. And the reason why I say that is because 20v1s are starting to become one of the most toxic things on YouTube. You, I've seen dudes walk out that got a, a job, got a business, not no street dude, doing well for himself. You feel what I'm saying? He puts God first, puts the bag first. It's respectful. And I've seen a whole bunch of thotties just pop the balloon. Bah, bah, bah. Or with the dudes, they, they see a girl that's a nurse, or they see a girl that's an RA, a religious girl. Girl of God, all because the, the girl's not shaking it or not, you know, doing something that the dude really want the girl to do. They all pop popping it. Pop. Think about that, that we're putting ourselves on a pedestal to be judged by people that we don't even know. Does that make sense for you? Does, does that really make sense? Think about it. I, I want you guys to think about it. To put yourself in front of 20 people that you do not even know, and they're judge, they're going to judge you based off your looks and how you carry yourself. A lot of these people in these videos are supposed to be married. A lot of these people in these videos are supposed to be already old enough to, to fuck around and start their own family. I'm seeing, starting to see older people that are like in their 30s and in and, and their 40s on 20v1s. What are you doing on a 20v1? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like as the days go on, I feel like society is slowly starting to lose me in a sense because what's been normalized and... The, the, the sexualizing of everything and these horny ass uh, uh, people trying to make as much money as possible from not only us, the audience, 
because I'm not gonna lie, I used to watch that shit, but not only but using us to to use our, our sexual desires and use you know clickbait to really get money and they're really degrading us. They're degrading the, the black man, they're degrading the black woman. Guys wonder why white people now I, I listen, I'm gonna say what I gotta say. Guys wonder why white people are always married. They're always happy, ducked off doing what they're supposed to do. Because you don't see them doing 20v1s, judging people that they don't know. They're not as shallow. That's the problem with not only black YouTube and the black community, but just with a lot of people of color. They're shallow. They care too much about stuff that don't matter. And I know this this video not even going to get as much love as it's supposed to, but I guess really had to speak on it because... It's not fair that certain people that don't have as much talent or don't have something, you know, important to really say or something positive that's really going to help. You feel what I'm saying? And they're just using their platform and they just get money and not to each his own. Trust me, to each his own. I don't care. But if you have a platform and you're milking 20 V ones while stuff is going on and you don't want to talk about serious stuff and you don't want to switch up the content because that's one thing about me. One day you might get a little hee hee ha ha video. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm not going to hee hee ha ha every day with y'all. I got to be real with the people watching me. And I feel like me being real and being authentic to myself, that is what is going to help me continue with this YouTube journey. But a lot of people have been trying to tell me, how come you don't do this? How come you don't do that? Do the 20 V1s. They're going to help you blow. I'm really against the 20 V1s, for real, because it's like, I don't find no purpose in it. But 20 V1s must be stopped. Go-getter is out of here. Like, subscribe, and tell a friend, and tell a friend. I'm out of here. Ah.